So hi and welcome to this video. So today we're going to be learning about in uh, JavaScript is the while loop. Uh, but before we get on to that, I just wanted to say that from now on, I'm going to try and make all the, Jav the learn JavaScript videos under five minutes or, or five minutes or less, uh, because it just means that if you don't have time to watch the full, uh, like a full 10, 20 minute video, then at least if they're cut down into smaller videos, you can watch um, them in your free time instead of having to watch a like, massive video all at once. So uh, without any further ado, let's get started. So what we're going to be learning about is a while loop. So I'm just going to create an example. Uh, well, first I'll actually explain it. So what a while loop does is it executes the code within it so long as the conditions um, within the while loop are true. So what I'm going to show, that sounds kind of weird, but I'll just show you uh, now. So here is where we put our conditions. So I'll just say conditions go here. And then, um, code to execute goes here. So what I'm going to put in here is I'm going to create a condition that says i is less than 10. And what i is, is just a placeholder variable. So I'm just going to create that now. Uh, I'm going to set it equal to zero just so that it's defined. Then what we want to say is, uh, document dot write hello world and then a new line and also uh, we're going to actually we're just gonna say plus I uh, plus a new line so what this will do is it'll say hello it'll print out hello world then a space then whatever number I is at and then it'll print out the new line. So what I what happens here is it says while i is less than ten, and to start off with i is zero. So what we say is while zero is less than ten, uh, write out uh, hello world space hello world space zero, and then a new line. But this will keep running forever because this condition will always be true unless we and we actually have to change it or else it'll run forever. So to change it, we just say i plus plus. So what this does is the first time the while loop runs i is equal to zero so it just says is zero less than 10 the answer is yes so it prints it out and then this line what it does is increments i by one so it basically just adds one to whatever i is at the time so in this case if i was zero i would become one the second time the while loop ran i would say while one is less than 10 run this code then what we want to do is we want to incre increment y again or i again uh, so the third time the while loop runs uh, i is equal to two so now if we uh, come over to our page and we refresh, it says hello world, uh, hello world zero, hello world one, hello world two, or whatever, and it goes all the way up to nine. Um, and for some reason our new line is not working, but that doesn't matter um, for the minute anyway. So um, so the next thing we can learn about is the, um, the do loop. So with while, there's a do and a while loop. Um, so they're sort of linked together. So the do, the do loop is a variant of the while loop and what it happens is the code within the do loop gets executed at least once whether the condition in the while loop is true or not. So what, what I mean by that is if we create the do loop like this. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, create a while loop underneath the do loop. Uh, well it's actually not a while loop, it's sort of just while with a statement. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so uh, the condition in our while loop goes in here but we don't actually use the um the uh, curly brackets this time because the condition or I mean the uh, action that actually gets executed uh, we put up in the do loop. So the difference between this and just using a while loop on its own is uh, the while loop will only ever run the code within it if the condition is true. Uh, but the do loop allows you to execute the code in the do loop first, and then it'll check if the condition is true. So the difference is it just means that the code instead of um, instead of uh, the while loop never executing a, a piece of code, you could make the while loop execute it once, sort of, with by using a do loop. So uh, what I'm going to say is the same condition as last time. So while i is less than ten, and I'm going to come up here and assign i equal to zero. And then what I'm going to say inside the do loop is I'm just going to use the same code again. So we should get the same result. Uh, whoops, document dot write hello world um, 
and then we want to append ion and then we want to append a new line so instead of using the new line tag I'll just use the break tag this time uh, and then what we want to say is i++ because again if we don't do that the loop will just run on forever so we should get the exact same result as last time except everything's down um, uh, with a new line at the end of it so uh, that's it for uh, this JavaScript tutorial on the do while loop uh, and just the ordinary while loop so uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe and also don't forget to tell me what you think of this series uh, tell me what you want to see in it tell me what you want to learn and I will uh, do my best to uh, accommodate that so uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time